Hey guys, this is a video about my HF VTTC and about the schematic and well, how it works. Um, so yeah, let's start with this simple circuit. This is my schematic at the moment and well, it's pretty much the final version, I think. Um, so let's start right here. This is a simple voltage doubler. So we have a microwave oven transformer. Mine is pretty big. Um, yeah, it's, it gives me a bit of more, uh, a bit of a big output. So yeah. Um, then we have five microwave oven caps right here, and four diodes, microwave diodes, and these two RF bypass caps. We need those caps because otherwise there could be RF going into your doubler cap or into your diodes, and then your diodes would blow up or your capacitors would blow up. Here are my RF bypass caps. I even used two on my uh, capacitors and one for my diodes. Um, then right here we have a second RF bypass cap for the filament. This is just to cancel out any RF going into your filament. So yeah, that, that's also an important capacitor. Um, someone asked me how the feedback works. So it's pretty simple. Here's the output of our mod and double, I mean, sorry. And this is our feedback coil right here, these two turns. And as you guys can see, we have a 100 picofarad cap right here. It's just a DC blocking cap. If we don't use this, there will be just a DC current from our um, doubler going into the grid and then, well, your tube will just die. Um, so you definitely need this. Um, it has to be in very high quality, um, high voltage capacitor. I personally use a Soviet ceramic cap. They work very, very well. Um, so yeah, definitely use something good here. I would use ceramic caps everywhere. I mean, I'm using ceramic caps everywhere, except for the double, of course. Um, this is our grid resistor and this is an impedance matching cap. It's just yeah, a bit for a bigger output. My, my coil works a bit better with this uh, capacitor. Um, so yeah, that's just the basic function of this coil. Um, the resonator itself has um, yeah, a six centimeter diameter and well, two turns feedback. Um, yeah, I don't know if you count this as a primary, but basically yes, and this is your resonator. Um, also, definitely keep in mind, if you touch the flame, you will probably just die. Um, this is because if you look right here, we have a low impedance path between the flame and your power supply. So if you touch the output, you just die. So that wouldn't be so good. So try to avoid that. Um, and also, I haven't grounded my circuit. My circuit is floating. Um, well, this is because I don't want to have any IF going into my um, house uh, wiring. So this is why I didn't connect my ground. So my mod is floating, which is not optimal, but well, it didn't die yet. So I think that should be fine. I, it's a pretty beefy and good mod in there. So yeah, I think I think it will be fine. You could ground the circuit. I was running it grounded um, once, uh, but well, I just don't like it because I could pump a lot of IF into my mains. So I am avoiding that. Um, also, this circuit resonates at about, uh, oh, oh, sorry, oscillates at about 15 megahertz. Um, and you definitely have to put sensitive equipment like a scope or function generator or yeah, really anything that is uh, sensitive far away from your coil um, because it can kill your um, stuff. I accidentally yeah, broke a bit of my soldering station with this coil. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that was basically it, I guess. Um, well, if you guys have questions about that circuit, you can just leave a comment. I would um, try to answer that as good as possible. Um, so yeah, now I will show the 
Coil Running.